So tonight, when we learn about the weather, Scott has props. He yes. handed us something and said, hold <laughs> this. Box. All right, Scott, teach us something about a box. It's kind of broken box. It, it's, it's, it's my, the box that I bring to the classes that I talk to for in okay. schools. That is a radio sant. Okay. 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 Don't worry. It's not, uh, you know, it's not going to. Radioactive. Do, yeah, it's not radioactive. <laughs> exactly. But see this picture here. This is a weather balloon. It carries the radio sign. You'll see it right in here. This is what we talk about a weather balloon going up into space there. And we our, our weather whiz kid question comes from Riverside Elementary having to do with this. I am Theo and I'm in sixth grade. And my weather question is how big are weather balloons? and how do they monitor and transmit data? Theo, great question. I want to show you pictures here. This is the weather balloon that they're inflating now. The Weather Service has about 100 locations operated by the United States, about 1,000 in, in, in the entire world where weather balloons go up basically every single day at the same time, twice a day, so we can get a picture of the global atmosphere, atmospheric setup that then goes into computer models and we can kind of map out what's going on as far as the weather goes. So here's the weather balloon that would go up and it's about six feet in diameter when it's inflated with hydrogen and then the weather service official sends it on up. This is a parachute so that this radio sign when the balloon pops after it goes up almost 15 miles, circa 115,000 feet, this will go up higher than planes fly. That's why when it goes up, the atmosphere, uh, the pressure basically lessens and what will happen is the balloon will grow and grow and grow because there's less atmospheric pressure. So it'll be almost 20 feet in diameter when this pops and this parachute will take this on down. This is uh, basically a weather balloon, a portion of it because they rip pretty easily, but it's very, very stretchy so that it can expand. So it's not like your balloon that will go up and then it will pop. But Theo's question was, how does it transmit data? And basically the radio sign that you guys have, you want to hand that over to me, Roland? I'll, I'll pull this apart here real quick. And Magic show you, of TV. Here. And show you. There you go. Right there, back. right? So what's inside here, well, I wasn't going to show you this, but I will. There's a little transmitter in here. Inside this, this transmitter huh. transmits back information back down to the ground. Temperature, uh, humidity, and then we can track it. And using geometry, we can tell how far downwind it is. We know how fast the wind is blowing in the higher elevation. So there you have it. A radio sign important for my weather cool. forecasting every day. Two of these are launched at the Boise Airport. Ten yeah. minutes to five in the morning, ten minutes to five in the evening if you want to go check it out. So it's not all satellites that we get all our information from. It's a lot from, from satellites, from but this is the core right here. Yeah, hey, Scott, you will you go visit classrooms if somebody wants to write to you? Because personally, I'd like to see that done in my kid's classroom. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Yeah, absolutely. If you've uh, any teachers... Let me know. We'll try to schedule again. We're scheduling out through February now. We'll go all the way to the end of the year. Okay. Excellent. Thanks, Scott. Thanks. Okay. Well, it is a program.